episode is part of my series in my life as where I get to talk with people in the sports industry that I think have really cool jobs and share these with my listener. Um, so my guest today is the best mascot in the NFL and maybe in all of sports, honestly. Mm-hmm. He is famous around the world for all the cool appearances he does here around Nashville and especially on Titans game day at Nissan Stadium. And he brought his personal coordinator with him today. He's the one, the only, Titans t rack and mascot coordinator, Justin Sullivan of the Tennessee Titans. Hey, oh, no. you guys. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks for having us. Oh, man. We're so happy you guys are on the show today. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you, guys. Actually, um, last week on October 1st, it was National Raccoon Appreciation Day. And we thought it'd be awesome to have you guys with us. So thank again, thanks the time, to- thanks for taking the time to be here. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for having us. So um, T Rock, we first met you in person a few years ago when we were at the mascot challenge for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society here in Nashville. But we've been a big fan of yours for a long time. And Justin, we really just met you um, not too long ago at a Titans event. That's right. That's right. T-Rack is very familiar with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society event that you guys were at. And yeah, absolutely. I met you guys a couple of a couple of appearances ago with T-Rack. I remember that. And can you and T-Rack, can you tell us how uh, you two met? <laughs> how do we meet, T-Rack? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I met T Rack uh, about five years ago. Um, I had just got out of college uh, at the University of Alabama, and I saw a job that was listed for um, a mascot coordinator here with the Titans, and I applied for it, and I got to end up being here with him. So that's that, how we met. We met five years ago. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah. I bet time has just flown by. It has been crazy, hasn't it, Drac? Um, it's been uh, a lot of different, a lot of different seasons, and a lot of different people, and a lot of different high fives, right, from me, Drac? Yeah, <laughs> it's been great. That sounds awesome. And in case our listener didn't know, the state animal for Tennessee is a raccoon, and it's pretty cool that the Titans chose you to be their mascot. Yeah, T-Rack. so like no joke, T-Rack will tell you this too. When they decided to make it a raccoon, the mascot here, um, they wanted something that was more of Tennessee and not such like, um, not like Nashville, like so <laughs> That's right, close. so strong. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So um, they wanted something, something broader that would reach out to more people in the state. So that's why it's a state animal and it's a raccoon. Yeah. That's re- that's really cool. That's a that. that's a cool yeah. story behind it. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a few questions for both of you. Um, uh-huh. We're just gonna we're just gonna jump right into that. So T Rex, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Hmm. What did you want to be when you were growing up? <laughs> he, wanted be, he wanted to be a football player, but they don't allow raccoons to do football. So wah, wah, wah. That, yeah. that, that stinks. His next best thing is entertainer. And honestly, that is what T-Rack is known for. And that is what he does every day. So I think you were born for that, T-Rack. Yeah. Yeah, just same. Natural talent. You're the best I'm entertainer sure, I've known. I'm not sure how those big feet would be on the field. <laughs> They'd be too good for the field. Yeah. Hey, Ooh, that's that's probably right. That's probably yeah. right. Just just being honest. <laughs> so, so Justin, how about you? What did you want to be when you were growing up? So, um, it was definitely uh, uh, t- not what I am doing now. I honestly never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now with T-Rack. I, um, I went to school for broadcasting, so I wanted to be on the five o'clock news. And um, I worked a job in media for a little bit and really decided that that was probably um, not what I wanted to do. Uh, I applied for this job with T-Rack and um, was up here within a week. But my... Wow dream job when I was a kid I wanted to be an entertainer 
So honestly, like I'm, I'm getting to do a little bit of that with him um, for sure. But that's what I wanted to do when I grew up. That's really cool. But I bet yeah. he steals a lot. <clears throat> Pardon me. I bet he steals a lot of the spotlight though. Oh, T-Rag. I don't know. I just have to see T-Rag has all the spotlight. No matter where yeah. he's at, he's got it. That's and awesome. why shouldn't he? He's T-Rag, right? Right. No joke. Yeah. No, for sure. So, so I can imagine the competition to be the mascot for the Titans was tough between you and your friends, T-Rag. Uh, did the Titans find you or did you find the Titans? Oh. <laughs> that was good they found him out by a trash can and <laughs> they basically they, they, they were he was eating some trash and like, we cannot let this happen this is a state animal we got to take care of him we got to make sure he has a place to live this is we're actually in t-rex house right now we'll have to show you that later but love it um they gave him a great place to live and he's been here for 21 years amazing that is awesome no longer a trash panda that is yeah. awesome <laughs> no longer a trash panda that's right that's right although we know that lance smith lovingly calls you that so. yes yes he does only from his heart yeah. <laughs> you are our trash panda <laughs> true story you got some heart right here uh so justin how did you find your way to helping out our friend t-rack and becoming his coordinator did you have to have special training to become a mascot coordinator yeah so i did um not technically but it helped me get the job yes um so when i was in college um like i said we'll start here and then we'll go i wanted to be like i said um on your five o'clock news um as an entertainer, just like, just to be on the screen, talking to people, making relationships, all that kind of good stuff. And I worked a media job of edit, I edited footage for a while back in a dark room by myself. And I knew that was not what I wanted to do um, because it was a long, it was a lonely job. It was, um, it was a great job, loved people I worked with and all that kind of good stuff. But I saw this open um, while I was in grad school at University of Alabama and um, while at Alabama, I worked with their mascot, Big Al. So I worked with Big Al for five years of undergrad and grad school. And when I got out of school, I applied for this. And I think that's what helped me, um, work with T-Rack was the position that I had with Alabama. That's, re so that's really cool. Technically, it wasn't technical training where you have to like do all this mascot stuff. But the experience that I had at Alabama helped me um, get the job here. Can you share with our listener, in case they're not familiar with who Big Al is? Yeah. So Big Al is a huge <laughs> elephant. <laughs> he is a huge elephant. Big old um, trunk. <laughs> he's real good friends with T-Rock. He is the University of Alabama's mascot. Um, so he has been there forever and he is their main guy like t-rack is the titans main guy um but yeah he's he is at um and he lives in tuscaloosa alabama all as right. well so, all right. yeah. i have to ask you a question real quick justin so were you at university of alabama when uh derrick henry was there i was his final season at alabama was my final season at alabama with big al so wow it was cool. It was neat. That is pretty cool. The last championship he won was the last championship I did with Big Al. Wow. And have you yeah. guys connected personally on that level? Oh, excuse me. T-Rex talking. You're good. You're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you, uh, Justin, have you connected with Derek at all personally in talking about um, your Alabama days? I think, so no, I, we have not really. Um, I think he knows that I went to Alabama and that I, um, was friends with Big Al, but we we haven't really discussed it. Yeah. And well, he's a little busy, and you're a little busy, I was so say, I get it. You know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> His schedule is a lot different than mine, and my <laughs> schedule is a lot busy, and he's got a busy schedule as well. But that's still really cool. That is. Yeah. So, Justin and T-Rex, can you share with our listener uh, what a typical game day looks like for you two? Yeah, so t rack has a very busy schedule. He starts around, if a game day starts at 12, actually, he prepares the week before. 
with whatever he's going to do for game day. He, we have meetings with T-Rex friends um, that help him, help him on game day. Um, we do some stuff prior to usually, um, if not Saturday before, the week before, sometime like that. Um, just trying to clean up his area and make sure things are in order. And then um, on game day, if we have a 12 o'clock game, we're here probably around 7.30, 7.45, getting ready for the 12 o'clock game. We have a production meeting wow. that goes to. We have um, appearances out in the community, um, around the stadium that we go to. It just depends on the game, um, to be honest with you. But it's usually kind of the same stuff. We visit suites on game day prior to the game and during the game as well. Um, but yeah, we ride around on a cart. So T-Rack has a golf cart that he rides around and does appearances on. Thank you, T-Rack. And we go all around the stadium and all the parking lots uh, to create like some Titan cheer, that's for sure. Getting everybody hyped up. Yeah. yeah I know we absolutely. get hyped up every time we see you T-Rack riding around that's on a golf cart. We've seen you out in the parking lot. We've seen you uh -huh. throughout the tunnel, like not the tunnel, what do you call it? The, the concourse? concourse? Yeah. yeah, yeah, concourse. Mm -hmm. Strolling awesome. through, and you are like the most popular person or cr creature, rather. You are the most popular creature in Nissan Stadium, I think, on game day. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. The thing is, what we tell people is, I know we we love it, we hate it, um, but players come and go sometimes, and that may not be the best. But T Rack is never going anywhere. So that's right. After you know him, you know him. He's never going away so yeah that's awesome yeah. always getting yeah. everybody hyped oh yeah absolutely absolutely well justin what about you what does your typical game day look like helping out t-rack so it, it is honestly the same thing uh we do i meet him the week before um if not saturday before and then i get here around 7 30 with him and we go over scheduling and we go over what uh <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's right, T-Rag. So T-Rag wanted me to add, for him to do really well, he has to get a really good night's sleep and eat really well before the game. So it may be dairy. It, you have to have all your main food groups. That's what he preaches in his um, school shows. So you have to get a good meal before the game because you have to be able to last the entire game. Good job, T-Rag. And, and sleep. Oh, and, and lots sleep. of sleep, yeah. Lots of sleep. Sleep is important. Yes. But yeah. But yeah. So on game day, I get here right when T-Rack gets here um, and gotcha. we figure out what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, uh, what quarters we're going to do it. And I'm here until probably about three hours after um, with T-Rack um, as well. And T-Rack on really hot games, on really hot games, T-Rack gets IVs um because of all the all the sweating and all that kind of good stuff yeah. you to refilled with you gotta stay so, hydrated right oh my right. goodness so, that's intense yeah. that is well now t-rex have you cleaned up your trash panda way is it in your den i have to know uh -huh. do you keep your den clean because as a mom i'm always trying to keep my kids dens clean right <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um what'd you say That's right. That's right. So T Rag has a crew that helps him help keep everything clean. So T Rag has a crew of about four people. Four wow. people, right? Okay. Three, four, four people on five, five people, five people that helps him on game day. Can we um, give them shout outs? Do you have the yeah, their names? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So T Rag, you got, you got, you got Justin. Yeah, you got me. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Number one yeah. shout out to Justin. Yeah. You, got, Justin. you got Brent, you have Christian, Richard, and who else? Coleman. Coleman. So all of them help T Rack throughout the week. If he has appearances in town that he needs help with, they'll fill in sometimes. They give, they give T Rack an allowance to clean his room sometimes. Oh. So that is good. Yeah. Yeah. Jason absolutely. can, uh, he can kind of get where that, that, what yeah. that's like. Yeah. Yeah. No, T Rock, T -Rock keeps his room pretty clean, though, because people come and see his room a lot. And I bet. He has to keep it spotless so, so people can, so people can see. Good job, T Rock. We're proud good of job. you.
<laughs> I love it. So, uh, Justin, besides game Titans game day at Nissan Stadium, do you have um, any other events that you uh, guys do during the season? Tons. So I will say this: T Rack does probably game game day is probably about fifteen percent of what T Rack does. Fifteen. You know, One five. Yes. So everything wow. else is what t rack does outside of game day. So what you see on game day is very minor of what t rack really does on a regular week or a regular year. Um, he does charity events. He does school shows. He does um, civic events, um, corporate events, anything, anything you can think of. If you request t rack and we have time and availability, we're usually there. Um, it just depends on his schedule and how busy the season is and what's going on. Um, but recently we have been, since season started, it has been almost every day, if not every other day, with new things coming in and all that kind of good stuff. Wow. So he's been a busy raccoon, that's for sure. I would say so. No wonder you need four or five people to help you out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, is a ton. Absolutely. absolutely. He's he's a very busy man. Yeah. Good job, dude. Well, I know that according to your social media, I figured you were busy, but I did not realize that it was only 15%. Game day accounted for only 15%. I thought it would at least be like in like 50 or something. Oh, yeah, at least. But yeah, so incredible. honestly, like, and don't get me wrong, T Rack loves game day and he does a really good job on game day, I think. But he has so much outside because we only have 10, 11 games, 9, 11. I mean, however many games, games we have yeah. a year. How many home games and do we have this year? I think it's like eight. Yeah. So we've added one more, I think, this year. But like, mm-hmm. no kidding. I He does so many other events in those few games we have at home that it's just, I mean, he's everywhere. Well, I know for us personally speaking that the – the amount of uh, love that you share with people that you meet t rack I mean, it's just, I, I watch people smile, just go from ear to ear. They could be, you know, just standing there kind of trying to be grumpy, but they walk, you walk up and then instantly everybody just lights up and, you know, you really are a bright shining light to us. And so I can imagine all of the people that you reach throughout uh, the year have the same uh, similar experience. Yeah, Do you remember sure. the first time you met T Rack? Yeah, it made me it made me smile <laughs> so hard. I was gonna say the the thing is the thing is with T Rack he doesn't he doesn't and this is kind of I guess something that I'll throw in there too just because I've seen it with him as well but he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't see race he doesn't see color he doesn't see I mean anything like. A social group, whoever it doesn't, he and everyone is his friend. Everyone loves him. He loves everyone, and that's the thing about raccoons. Like they, they're gonna love you no matter what. That's right. And that's right. Honestly, honestly, like you could be a fan from our biggest rival, and T. Rack would probably treat you just like he does his biggest fan for the Titans. So we that take brings, we take some pride in that for sure. That brings up a really good question. I just thought of. So t Rack, who would you say would be your arch nemesis in the, of all the teams that we play? Oh, I can see he's getting really mad. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Could we guess? Uh, probably. Um, Let him, we'll, we'll find out. We're going to say, we're going to have to say probably blue from Indiana. Oh, that was I, one of my two yeah, guesses. That was, yeah, yeah, that was my that was my uh, that was one of my guesses. The other was Toro yes. from Houston. Yeah. So, Tor- <laughs> yeah. So to be honest with you, we've we've and I mean this in the nicest way. We've beat Texans a couple more times than we've beat the Colts, and the Colts have been such a big rival. Uh huh. That blue is just our big rival, just because. Yeah. Um, they're both great. Don't get me wrong, but there's about two weeks every year that we're kind of like we're we're kind of arch nemesis. Bad blood. It's yeah, bad blood. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Enemies. Yeah. 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 What does sure. Mark Mariani call it? Uh blood in the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we for know sure. who always comes out victorious between the two of you, T Rack. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. We always, Win or we lose. Always yeah, right. absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, T wait, this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, T rock and Justin, what does the off season look like for your, both of you? Uh, are you busy with events? Yeah. So like I said, <laughs> yeah. he, wishes, takes he, a break. Wishes, <laughs> he wishes he took a break. Um, no joke. Uh, we do usually before pre COVID, um, and all that kind of good stuff that just happened or I wouldn't say good stuff, but, um, all the stuff that just happened with COVID. Um, we used to be in schools all throughout schools. I mean, like school time. Um, it was from August to May, uh, or late May, we were usually in schools with T-Rag doing school shows and we do school shows for elementary school and middle school. Um, so, um, we used to be in schools and that's what we did during off season. But the events that you get from communities, hospitals, children's hospitals, um, anything like that, those never stop. So it could be off season. And the thing is a lot of those events do pick up during off season because they're like, Oh, you don't have football. You can be at our event, Iraq. So <laughs> a lot of those events pick up and that's what we kind of do during um, off season. So but. you, you also have uh, with the schools, do you have a partnership with play 60? Is that right? So play 60. Or you're part of play 60? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, we have a sponsor that's um, the Dairy Alliance, and they I are actually, them. yeah, they're great. Um, and their basically message is um, eat, drink, live dairy. Um, uh, and how that's good what it is we for think you. in our house. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And how and how good it is for you and how good it is for your nutrition and all that kind of good stuff. So we um, we do a lot of shows with them. And we used to have a sponsor um, with Tennessee State Parks and um, we, uh, did some stuff with them, uh, about how to get up and get active and get healthy outside of football. So it was like anything outside, <laughs> anything you can do, any other sport besides football, girls, guys, whoever can play, whatever. So, um, that was who we used to have. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. So I have a question for you, T-Rack. It says that your Twitter bio, pardon me, your Twitter bio says that you are an 11 time pro bowl nfl mascot um and that you are the first ever cartoon and if or i can't even read my question <laughs> that you are the first ever cartoon network nfl mascot of the year can you share with us about that yeah those two so things pro bowl is one of t-rag's most um uh what let me, proudest accomplishment yeah yeah no joke i'm just um, guessing it's kind of like no it absolutely amazing it's very it's very uh it's definitely an honor um when anyone gets selected to go to the pro bowl it's very i mean it's a big deal um just because a lot of people don't get to go and the thing is oh yeah like i said earlier it's 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 super nice for t-rock because he doesn't go i mean he's gonna be here for a while and every time he gets to go it's like it gets better and better um yeah <laughs> For a raccoon in Tennessee, he said he sure does love to travel. <laughs> and, and, and no kidding. And he's been everywhere from Hawaii to Orlando. Um, to, he needs to fall everywhere. But wow. the thing is, wow. Pro Bowl is basically like any NFL's mascot dream. Like you go and you live it like the players do. You're there with all the fans. You're there with all your fans. Um, so every time you get to go, it's kind of – it's kind of um, a different, it's different every time because it's just, it may be a different place or maybe different fans because he's just meeting, he may be meeting everyone to be honest with you, but yeah. So you're getting an opportunity to spread even more Titans love wherever you go. And I'm sure that people are just super happy to see you. I remember we saw you on TV. What was it? A couple of years ago when they had it in Orlando. Uh, yeah. 2019 yeah, I'm, season. I remember that. Yeah. And every time you were on the screen, we'd be like, there he is. There he is. We see him. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> sure, I had some fun at that one for sure. I can imagine. And so what about the Cartoon Network? First ever Cartoon Network NFL mascot of the year. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. So he was the first ever. This was back in, I'm not even sure. Um, I want to say it was. 
some of the first years he was actually a mascot here with the Titans. They selected wow. him. Wow. So, um, and I honestly don't know if um, they continue to do it. Um, I think it's it's been around for a while or stayed around for a while, but I haven't heard much about it. So well, I think we're we need to proud. start the we're, campaign back up. I was going to say, we're yeah. very proud that he was selected to be one of them. <laughs> he said he said they chose him and then he broke the record so they, <laughs> that's right that that sounds fair nobody else need apply we have the winner nope. yeah. forever Absolutely. <laughs> yeah the og yeah so uh here's a question for both of you what is your favorite part of your job hmm. T-Rex says his favorite part is the free food <laughs> and making kids smile and playing with kids. Aww. So that's his, that's but food his favorite. before kids. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably, we need to probably re reverse that, but no. yeah. Are you kidding? It's but, food for me before, me. no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh that's great but yeah no I, I would have to say very similar to that like I will say um the fans and kids and just people in general um young old whoever kind of make the job worthwhile um uh for me that is I mean and t -Rack. it's just it depends on the day like I I tell people all the time like it's when you're when you're with t -Rack or when you're when you're with T-Rack, it's very hard to have a bad day because T-Rack always has to have a good day. Um, it's, it's, he, he, he rarely has bad days. So it's, it's very hard for you to be, um, very sad or anything when you're around him. Like you said earlier, it's very, um, it's a very different job because you have to be at a level 10 happiness <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Uh, and it's and that and that's sometimes good, sometimes bad. It's got it's got great. I mean, as humans, we always want to have those good days, but you definitely have those bad days in there, and that's just the reality of life. And when you're around a, a seven foot raccoon, <laughs> it's hard to have those bad days when you want to. So that's that's, right. just, I mean, that's just a great part of the job. Um, yeah. The fans. I mean, a lot of people would. I mean, love to hear. We love the games. We love the the grandeur of the games and what happens at the games and all that kind of good stuff. But like I said, 15% of the job, there's so many more positive, great memories and uh, great things about being around t rack than just what you see on game day. So, yeah. It's impossible to not like t rack Absolutely. Yeah. You just bring yeah. a smile on everyone's faces. Absolutely. So you really essentially t rack you are the ambassador for the Tennessee Titans wherever you go. And so whatever representation you bring with you is what somebody might even think about the team. And so for the fact that you always bring the positive energy, people are going to pick up on that and say, man, the Titans, yeah, you got it going on. That's, that's what I think. True. Yeah. Right. High five Absolutely. to that. We're going to do virtual high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So um I just want to thank you both so much for joining me and my mom. We we had a blast with you guys and we just can't thank you enough. No, thank you. Uh we we really enjoyed it. I think T Rack enjoyed it. You enjoyed it, T Rack? You did? Would you do it again? <laughs> T Rack would do it again. If you ever needed him again, let him know. We will. Thank you so much. Thanks. So sure. um before we go, I have three questions I ask each guest. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, what advice would you give your 12 year old self? Greg, what would be yours? <laughs> <laughs> I think I know his. So never hang out by trash cans. <laughs> but it did get him his job. I so I was gonna say, now hold they on. They found him yeah. by the trash can and he is he has made himself he has made himself what he is today. Um Mine would probably have to be to this is a good this is a great question because honestly like this is one of those things you never think about and when but it's really good to think about but I want to say like my mine would probably be um to 
there's a lot. I want to say a bunch of them, but one of them would have to be to never quit and to um, try it everything you want. Um, like there's some there's some things like I'm just thinking like <clears throat> going through high school, middle school, and just um, just that time of life going through schooling period. There's just a lot of times where you don't think you're good enough. And that's one thing that I would have to say to my 12 year old self is just, just don't quit. And you're always good. You're good enough. And that's you're probably right, right where right. you need to be in the first place, but, and to always trust God's plan. That is some great advice. That's awesome. I almost got a little choked up here. Uh, yeah. If you can see, I got a little tear right here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Aww. Aww. So was there a mentor or teacher that really inspired you when you grow, when you were growing up? you guys <laughs> i need i need that laugh i'm a little teary right now <laughs> t-rack watched a lot of cartoons so oh yeah he's very oh, animated cool. and gets a lot of what he does from cartoons so yeah that's, that's his. so good and um these are really good questions and i i i'm probably gonna tear up a little bit talking that's about okay. this okay I had, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was just, uh, <laughs> I had a great, um, and I'm very thankful for it, but had a great grandmother and granddad. Oh, um, and, uh, they were amazing. They meant a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Aww. they, um, they taught us a lot. They, um, more than anything, they taught us how to live our lives and live them in a good light and a positive light. And, um, yeah, so that would have to say my grandmother and my granddad, probably. And you became a shining light because of their example. I would hope so. <laughs> In our yeah. opinion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, T-Rac? <laughs> that dude's pretty good next to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was not planning for these, you guys. We have uh, one final question. <laughs> what you got? Uh, pizza or steak? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> T-Rack like steak on pizza. <laughs> We've had that many times, but fortunately, does that that's, that does not count. That doesn't. I count. think it counts. He doesn't. That doesn't no. count. Let's say we're gonna go with pizza. So All right. What kind of pizza? Go with, what if toppings? He's gonna go with, <laughs> if he's gonna go with pizza, I'm gonna go with steak. I would oh, much. <laughs> I think I would, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love a good pizza night, but there's just something about like sitting down at a nice dinner with a steak and a nice baked potato or some green beans or asparagus. I, that's, it's just something about it, but yeah. T-Rex hungry. <laughs> <T -Rex. laughs> I can imagine. It's dinner, it's I can dinner almost hear stress. his stomach growling. Through the <laughs> oh, T-Rex, what kind of, what kind of toppings do you like on your pizza? Anything that's free, <laughs> anything that's free, <laughs> low, you can pile whatever on there. He's using, you can take, you can take, the, you can take the uh, raccoon away from the garbage, but <laughs> you may not get <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Well, do you guys have a favorite place that you get steak or pizza? Hmm. What's your favorite restaurant? Because we have listener that you might. Uh, be in the Nashville area and would love a recommendation from T Rack. Yeah, so, maybe we're not. I know Slim and Huskies. I mean, I was good. I right was there. T Rack loves Slim and Huskies. <laughs> Who Slim doesn't? Yes, yeah, Slim it and Huskies so good. Honestly, his, yeah. Like, oh my um, God. his promote. Uh, he's not promotion video. His intro video this year is Slim and Huskies. Um, he's waiting for a pizza outside of Slim yeah. and Huskies. Oh yeah, that, that, that is so, an awesome. That was an awesome video. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that new so hype he, video is, is really sweet. He loves Slim and Huskies and steak. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I have a lot of good steak. I mean, I don't get me wrong. There's no, there's something about just like a homemade, like on the grill, like you did it yourself. Mm -hmm. Part of it is like you did it yourself. And then the other half is like, this is good. But um, I would have to say, huh. I don't know. It's I know it's a chain, but like I love Ted's. I don't know. Oh, Ted's Montana Grill. 
Yeah, yeah, right I there off of West it. End. I've never heard of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I love their steak, and I think that's um, I know it's a chain, but I I enjoy it. We actually went to one in Montana. My our, uh, yeah, my that's husband's awesome. from Montana, and so we took the kids there. But he doesn't remember. It was like probably six years ago. Yeah, so. but that's anyway. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, just I uh, want to thank you guys again for coming on. This has been an we've had a blast and um we're super grateful that you guys had the op- um that we that we had the opportunity to uh see you guys so yeah awesome thank you guys so much let us know if you need us ever again we will tighten yes. up y'all tighten up tighten up have a good one